Raceway stock and older stake stars in a male-dominated sport on the world's toughest circuit. Toscano became interested in harness horses while attending Stony Brook State University in New York. She got her start working for Buddy Regan and also John Campbell when he had a stable. Toscano struck out on her own in 1984 and learned her lessons well, winning training titles in her home state before venturing to the Meadowlands in 1988. Toscano struck gold in 1995 with the older trotting mare of the year, Giant Mermaid. And one of her favorite moments came in 1999 when the millionaire Jet Log set a half-mile track world record of 149. Her biggest night came in 2002 when Molly Canduit stormed home to win the $350,000 Breeders' Crown Mare Pace. With Jack Moiseev at the controls, Molly Canduit soundly beat a vintage field in a lifetime best of 149 and 4. Molly can do it, sweeping up to take the lead. Eternal Cam Nation second, two crowns today for Moiseev. Molly can do it, wins it. In 2003, Molly can do it, struggled to assert herself until she shocked the world in late July in the inaugural Golden Girls Pace for $185,000. Facing three of the greatest pacing mares ever to look through a bridle, Molly can do it, was set off as the longest shot in a compact field of four at 13 to one. Molly and Moiseev sat patiently off the pace and simply sailed past them all in 150 flat. Molly can do it on the outside. Molly can do it in Bunny Lake. It's Molly can do it. An $82,000 Harrisburg purchase in 2001, Molly can do it is set to retire with well over $900,000 in the bank. She was scheduled to make her final career start, number 84, in the Strata Memorial. So it's Molly Candua who explodes to the top with Pierce. And from the back, Carolina Sunshine motors late, but it will be Molly Candua. Molly Candua with a perfect Pierce trip here. As noted with the divisional champion Giant Mermaid and world champion Lifelong Victory, and also Hornby Duke, Toscano has turned the trick with Trotters. And Funny Malentine was a super find of her own. Toscano picked out the Malabar Man filly for just $42,000, and her shining moment came in the $150,000 New Jersey Sire Stakes Final. Funny Malentine slowing up. Silver Springs on the inside. Funny Malentine has won it. Funny Malentine is scheduled to qualify around the last week of April. Toscano has been pleased with her solid start this season, and at the age of 48, some might think she's ready to wind down. Yet she currently manages between 45 and 50 horses. 20 are two-year-olds, and 10 to 15 are three-year-olds. So the future certainly looks bright and exciting for the Lady of the Lightning Lane. Young horses are what she prefers over the claiming game. She really enjoys going to the farms, looking them over, studying their pedigrees, heading to the sales, and selecting them. She loves the challenge of turning a modestly priced yearling into one that can beat those at the high end. While Toscano says goodbye to Molly Candua, her next big horse is just around the corner. Toscano acknowledges she wouldn't survive without her great staff and loyal owners, yet she continues to thrive as an exemplary team captain with an eye for talented horses and a proven track record of success. This lady is a champ.